Everybody, welcome back. Look at this, 2,500 active players. That's a lot. In two days, they started yesterday. That's a lot of players. Welcome back. So for, so far, we have, uh, we've done five drafts. This is our sixth. We've had four two ones and a 3 oh. So not bad. This is what I'm saying. Like the trophies would be great if it was like a gold trophy, silver trophy, and bronze trophy. And each one is like, so your gold trophy would be three O's, uh, silver would be two ones, and bronze would be one twos. And the reason isn't so you have a trophy. It's just so you can keep track of your record. So you can say, hey, in the vintage cube, I went one two a lot. So I, I you know, I should work on that. Or like in the, uh, you know, the modern cube, I went three O like a bunch of times, but I did have a lot of two ones as well. And it's just nice to know. So it's just a nice little, uh, I'm probably going to take this volcanic island. This is These are the colors I want. Because, like, the trophies themselves are pretty meaningless, right? I'm sorry, what? We should have passed the pack with two moxes in it? We're definitely taking the red one because we're already red blue, so thanks. I mean, there had to be something else like an Ancestral or a Lotus or something in that pack. I kind of like Doretti here, especially with a Mox. I also don't hate Taiga. We just did Teamer, but maybe we're Teamer again. Oh, the first one we had Eureka, didn't we? No, not Eureka. Um, the first one was green too, wasn't it? Didn't we do two, two green drafts today? Yeah, we'll take a Doretti. Doretti also gives you some some nice... Uh... Alright, so whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, copy it for each other instant you've cast before it. Uh, that seems really strong. I don't want to play Storm, though, because it's really kind of dirtily... Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this card's good. I don't. It seems good, right? It's only for instants and sorceries, though. Oh. Uh, I, I haven't seen Kenji do that, but, like, that's pretty similar to what I'm proposing. Not, like, I don't want to go into that. I mean, the Vintage Cube is mostly for fun. I don't really want to go that deep into it. So, um, if you copy it, does it lock in the stats? So, if I do this for, like, for four with X is four, does it lock in stats as X for four, or does it just cast it as a, with X zero? I'm going to take Disallow either way. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't like the dirtling because it's just not fun. Oh, I like a cur Oh, oh. All right, so now we got. This is less good in the vintage cube, I think, but maybe it's not because they have a bunch of big dudes. I don't know, man. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. Okay. Cryptic is great. Goes a thousand year storm. Thoughts on a new arena format pushing out modern? It's nothing's gonna push out modern. Modern is too uh, too enfranchised right now. Like there's no reason to ever push out modern. The format is healthy. I like Breach because I think I think it's a uh, it's a stronger card. Um, but I mean I also think they'll just add modern. Like it's just a way to breach between modern between standard and modern. It's a way to put something in the middle without actually having to without actually having to program all of the thing, all of the modern cards so far. I really don't like Thing in the Ice. I like Dire Fleet Daredevil.
All right. Uh, no new step. No, there we have no steps left. I mean, like I've done, I think like either four out of five or five out of five have been steps so far. So I'm not like, I, mean, I don't think I have any more steps in the queue right now. I think there are, um, eh, goblin welder goes well with the Doretti, but we're kind of drafting two different decks here. I think that's fine though. Grave Titan's good. Lava Claw Reach is also good. Hmm. We could just not be blue. We took the Volcanic Island, but we're not sure. I think it's probably Grave Titan. We think we need modern format starting at M15 cons. Then it's not modern, though. Right? Like, then, then it's just literally just new format. Because modern is literally defined by the modern borders on the cards. I guess it's Lotus Petal's pretty strong. The problem is Thousand Year Storm doesn't actually interact with Lotus Petal, so it's not real storm. I almost like Grim Tutor here. Actually, Worm could be good. We have Through the Breach. Hero's Downfall seems great. I'm a big fan of that as removal. I'm going to take Fixing Land. Nighthawk, sure. Also, it's nice because we're seeing... Yeah, that's actually fantastic. Oh, that's actually good, too. Oh, wow. This actually, this actually went really well. Last pick, Living Death is really cool. Yeah, all right. So feeling good about this. Duretti is also great because you can make a 1-1 one -one and then you can play other Duretti and sack an artifact for it, so. Um. So you just use watching YouTube, I keep pausing while doing work. That's actually pretty hilarious. Modern refers to the modern borders on the cards you've blown in mind. What have I even been doing with my life, and how did I not know this? Yeah, the um, yeah, because the borders changed right after, right, like uh, like Perfect Fit says, it changed from Mirrodin was the first format, the first set that was released that had the new board borders, um, and that is the first set that's legal in modern. Uh, I definitely think it's Rainforest if we're not playing blue. I like that you guys are so gung ho about fetch lands, even though it's not neither of the colors we are predominantly in right now. Metamorph does seem pretty good though as an artifact. I don't think reanimates really where we want to be. Um, I mean, we it's 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 all hit or miss. Like we have artifact theme, we have reanimate, and we have, and we have a kind of a reanimate theme going until I get something big. So the problem is, um, what Agent Cody Ganks is saying is correct. I think people are overstating that this new format is going to change modern and all. It's not. It's just not going to do it. Uh, it's more something to bridge the gap between modern and standard. Um, realistically speaking, this is an Ancestral Recall that was passed to me, and I'm going to put it in my deck without actually looking at the rest of the pack because that's how we do it. Uh, there's also a Signet that I kind of hope comes back, but real, I, I don't, you know what, this is an Ancestral Recall. Um, realistically, the longer, on a, the longer the timeline goes, modern becomes just unmanageable right same way legacy or, or vintage would be um the problem is that modern is now like what f it's pretty old it's like f how old is when was modern first introduced i think i, I heard someone say it was 15 years ago Uh, the format was introduced as a non-sanctioned magic format in 2011. So seven years ago, right? It's seven years old. But like in five years, it's going to be 12 years old. And then it's going to be 17 years old. You know, like it's it's going to keep adding, right? So you get to a point where like you literally can't keep... You have to put something in between. It can't go standard. And then the next most recent format is 17 years old. Like you're literally going to have to put something in between those... Um, because there's no way to like bridge that gap. 
I think we're just taking underground C here. Having volcanic and underground. I can see taking recurring nightmare because it's very, very strong, but we don't have many early creatures to put into the graveyard. So I'd rather just have this in case any fetch land turns it on. Liliana's is good. Brutality's decent because we can easily discard one of these cards to living death. I might just want the worn power stone. I like recurring nightmare as well, but we don't. This isn't a deck where you have a bunch of creatures to sacrifice. Is the problem? Recurring nightmare goes better than green decks because you have a bunch of like dirtily elves that you can just put in the trash can. Modern Elf being put behind the Dem TGO like Legacy and Vintage. They'll start a new Eternal format with cards from Arena at the beginning. Well, it can't be an Eternal format. Eternal doesn't mean non-rotating. Eternal means that all cards are legal. Legacy and Vintage are the only two Eternal formats because all the cards are legal in those formats, barring their banned and restricted lists. You might mean non-rotating, um, which would be accurate. I think it's just Worn Power Stone here. It's an artifact, so it goes really well with both Duretti's. Uh, so, you know, that's cool. Shieldred is nice, and uh, it's another card we can like put in the graveyard. It's not great with Through the Breach, but it is good with like Living Death, and it's good with... If you return an artifact, nope, not great there. Um, not great there, not great here. Or maybe Shieldred's not the pick. There's nothing in this pack I really care about, though. It's probably Shieldred, right? I guess we can get her in the graveyard and then Living Death, but like... I think Confluence is actually fine. I'm gonna I'll take the Confluence. I can get behind that. I like an Exhum. Alright. Alright. Better than Cloudscape, better than Puppeteer Click. Yeah, we'll take Exhum, sure. We can just mosey on it. <laughs> we can just mosey on into this reanimator deck. Alright. I'm game. Guys, what new format? No, there's no new format being announced. Oh, there's one on uh, on Arena, but that's only like because they don't have the cards for the other formats. Okay, we'll take a Vampiric Tutor. Sure. Oh, the Reanimate came back. What's it like to... So we just got literally Exhum, Animate Dead, Reanimate, and Entomb in a row. I think it's P and Karen Alara. Provides us artifacts. This is actually a great pickup here. Wow. Now I wish I took the Shieldred in before Shieldred tables. Oh, dear God, man. That is not reasonable. Liliana came back. That's actually a nice discard outlet. Yeah, Liliana seems pretty sweet here. I'll take a Liliana. And Tomb is so bad. Put a creature in the graveyard? No thanks. Uh, joke's on you, CTB. It's actually any perm any card. You can choose any card and put it in the graveyard. It doesn't have to be a creature. So you can put your Jace the Mind Sculptor in the graveyard too. You could put a land in there. You could thin your deck. It's basically like a fetch land, so I don't know why you guys aren't. Uh, Scrap Heap Scrounger actually is a pretty good pretty good card to table here. Yeah, Puppeteer Click is not terrible. Shouldered last pick? Nah, I don't think we should. We, 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 we're probably not that lucky. Yeah. 
Oh, parallax wave, eh? Okay. Oh, we did. This is the first pack we didn't. Oh, actually, we didn't open power in the other packs. They were passed to us. So, that being the case, perhaps. Give me one second. I'm gonna go turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this door because the robot vacuum is running. What are we taking though? What do I take here? Hmm, let me slide on back real quick. Um, I don't love Chrome Mox. It could be just be Deluge. I like Deluge because it's very. It kills a lot of things that you might not have access to killing. Terastodon could be good with uh, with Reanimate. Also with Animate Dead. Also with Exhum. Oh man, we could Entomb the Scrounger. You're right. Good call, Chris. Good call. <laughs> the Think of the Value. I'm always reluctant to play this, but we do have Through the Breach and we have a bunch of Reanimate. So maybe this is correct. Yeah, I'm going to take the Terastodon. Let me go shut this door real quick. And then we wheel on over. What do we get here? Damnation, huh? Wooded Foothills gets us Volcanic Island and Mountain. Not terrible. I don't love Snapcaster, though we do have Ancient Tomb. Nope. Ancestral Recall and Tomb. Reanimate, Vampiric Tutor. We have a lot of powerful cards in our deck. I would actually probably take Creeping Tarpet. I think Snapcaster is strong enough to play here. I want to take the Snapcaster. And then we're just going to hope we get the fixing that we need for it. Shallow Grave. You're interesting. Hmm. Bitter Blossom could be decent. Is Doretti this... Is this like an artifact? It's like an artifact if you do destroy an artifact or a creature. Sure. Both of these are sack artifacts. The problem is we don't have a ton of artifacts. We have like two artifacts in our deck, which makes both of these... This guy makes artifacts, though. And this guy, his discard ability is actually... Eh, they're both good. Yeah, that's fine. They still have uses. Uh, I'm pretty sure we passed Recurring Nightmare in pack one. So I don't think that's going to be likely. I think the odds of that are low. Probably like just Vraska's Contempt. I don't think we need another Shallow Grave effect. Wow, that's a channel, all right. Oh, Mirror Battlesphere is great. It is an artifact. It is a big, fat thing. Yeah, we're taking Mirror Battlesphere for sure. <sighs> ya boy. It's ya boy. Uh, yes, let's do that. Throw the Breach, Emrakul. And we have a Vampiric Tutor to go find. Oh, a Putrid Imp. Is Putrid Imp where we want to be? Let's take out the Daredevil. Let's take out Goblin Welder. I don't think you're doing what we want here. Um, I don't think we need Vraska's and Hero's Downfall, but we can bring one in. Inkwell, too. Oh, man. What's more important, though? Like, do we, Don't we need more ways to get cards into the graveyard than more cards to get out of the graveyard? However, Inkwell Leviathan does go well with a Doretti. Oh, God. All right, we're just going to take the Inkwell. I can see cutting Terastodon for Inkwell. Oh, Bloodstained Mire? Oh, Biscuits. That's the perfect fetch land with Volcanic and Underground. Oh, God. This pack's not even close. That's gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> also an artifact. Unfortunately, we can't really reanimate with Doretti. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This just wins the game on its own, though, right? Like, if you threw the breach either of these guys, you just win the game. Unfortunately, there's no way to get Blightsteel into, the, into play from the graveyard. 
welder doesn't welder's not gonna have any impact on this because you gotta shuffle it back in wait you can actually respond to that right i think you can i think you can respond to that yeah, Deluge came back. Actually, Smuggler's Copter might be good here. Smuggler's Copter is a great discard outlet. The problem is we don't have a lot of creatures. The only creatures we have before turn three are... I guess Duretti makes guys that can crew the copter. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Uh, what does it say? Instead, shuffle it. Yeah, so you're never it never hits the graveyard. Yeah, you can't respond to that. You guys can't trick me. The, the, the game can, but you can't. I'm going to take the Imperial Seal. Actually, the Wooded Foothills is better. We can get... Yeah, this is a red or a blue. It's literally just... Ah, uh, Bitter Blossom comes back. Okay. Um, Shallow Grave is actually pretty good with Emrakul, right? Like, we discard it to, like, Liliana, and then we have Shallow Grave to... Yeah, we'll take the Shallow Grave. It's basically like a Gorio's Vengeance type card yeah that's pretty sick I guess we don't necessarily have to cast smugglers copter super early anyway so wow this deck has it all this is unreal um I like duplicate here it's better than probably better than shriek maw it's another artifact that we can either get back. Why no gifts? Um, I mean, we just don't like. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Valid question. Yogmoth's bargain comes back and fatal push. I'll take fatal push. Putrid imp. Of course it does. All right. So wow, this is gonna be a hard deck to build. Oh boy. This is a deck. This is a deck. Okay, so things we cannot reanimate. These two. Things we can definitely reanimate. These guys. Ways to put these into play right here. Ways to put these guys into play. Reanimate, exhume, animate dead. And shallow grave is for both. Well, except for this guy. So there's kind of an overlap there. Um, ways to get things into the graveyard. Putrid Imp. Entomb. Liliana. Duretti. That's actually a good amount. Smuggler's Copter. All right. Uh, artifacts that go with... The aforementioned guys. Um, okay. Things that are, are things that produce artifacts. So I feel like these are the necessary components for the deck right here. And now we need to make like four or five cuts over here. Probably cut Living Death. I don't feel like we're going to get a bunch of... Like if we had Buried Alive, I could see Living Death being good. Um, I like Snapcaster and Ancestral a lot. I think they're also pretty easy additions. Like we have one, two, three, four, five blue sources without even adding an island. Uh, I don't care about Shriek Maw, though it could be good. I don't care about Nighthawk either. Although again, could be good, especially with Reanimate. Do we need three of these effects when we also have Shallow Grave? Probably not. I think we can cut the Exhume. I also like cutting maybe Massacre Room for the sideboard. I don't think it's super good. I think this is the deck. I like this a lot. This seems nice. All right, let's do it. Oh, we also have Mox, I forgot. Uh, I'm, I don't actually hate Goblin Welder in the deck either because we do have Inkwell and Mirror Battle Sphere. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. I wonder if we can actually play 15, 16 lands because we don't actually need that much mana. Like, our curve pretty much stops at 5. Yeah, we're going to actually play it like this. Alright, let's see. Sort by color. So, still highest in... Wow, this deck looks 
pretty sweet. I want to play... I don't even know if I want one island, to be quite honest. Welder does not get Black Blight Steel. We already went over this. It's a replacement effect. Blight Steel never goes to the graveyard. If it would go to the graveyard, instead shuffle it in. So, unfortunately, not a real thing. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine black sources. That seems like a good amount. Red sources, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Yeah, we can go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten black sources. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eight. And maybe just one island. I actually never want an island. I think it's actually like this. red and black this is also a red but not a black and then we have both so this is actually this is actually even on both one two three four five six seven this is nine one two three four five six seven eight nine uh wooded foothills does not get this bloodstained mire gets both Nine nine is that right? One two three four five six. Yeah, nine nine. It looks like. Am I missing something? I thought we had ten sources of black. I mean, nine nine seems good, right? I think this is fine. A badlands would be nice because then we can have a wooded foothills that gets us a. A black source, but yeah, our mana base seems great. Even without a swamp, even without a, an island, we have five sources of blue, which is pretty nice. For two blue cards, seems great. I think we can keep this hand. It's slow, but like, if we draw through the breach, it's great. So, if we draw any reanimate spell, it becomes very, very good. Are there not many people streaming Vintage Cube? Because this is like the best, this is like the purest magic you can have. Well, that is a, that is a discard outlet. Third turn Putrid Imp is a thing. We can actually just discard the Blightsteel Colossus just to shuffle, guys. If you could get anything for Christmas, what would be? Coming to Nashville and hanging out with me isn't a valid response, I know. <laughs> anything for Christmas? That's a good question. I mean, anything I'd probably say... I'd probably say a Tesla. I've, I've, I've needed a new car for a while. I mean, my, my Prius is actually totally fine, but, like, I've never had a new, new car. You know, I've always just bought, like, used cars and... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do I just play this? Yeah, this is probably better than Copter here. Gains flying. You don't even have flying naturally? Yeah, you're just going to stay home. Unless we could have got him and they didn't realize it doesn't have flying naturally. There it is. I couldn't find UMA streams over five viewers. Oh my god. That's really weird. Vintage Cube is like the coolest thing. It's like, I don't even understand. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Primeval Titan. Just say the back fell off again and started a nation bar. Yeah. Back fell off my car, guys. Can you get me a Tesla now? Donation bar is 50,000. It's not a lot if all the if every viewer donated like two dollars this year be good to go g2g my friends oh oh huh this could be very strong so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Vampiric Tutor for a Shallow Grave. We're going to Entomb an Emrakul, and with the trigger on the stack, we're going to go bonkin'. 
Are you guys ready for this? It's gonna be busted and makes me feel good. While working arena up in the background is a little much sound effects wise. That's true. It's always like, hello, I'm Teffery. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, okay, let's, let's take it easy. Take it easy, Teffery. God, if they tap out for something stupid here, it's going to be unbelievable. We could get through the reach, but if they block this, it's bad. So we actually have to get, like, this gets Emrakul in the graveyard. Through the breach for just this guy doesn't do much when they have blockers out. It's just... That's obnoxious. So they go one, two, three... Actually, hold on. Can we still win here? Oh, we have tons of flyers. They're just dead. Oh, we got the wrong one. Oh, that's really bad. We misclicked. Oh, oh no, we're having a bad time now. <sighs> that's so bad. Literally just a misclick. That never happens in real life. God. Please don't get a test. I mean, I'm not in. I'm not in a position to get a Tesla anytime soon. Uh, yeah, we're just going to shuffle here. What do we even put, though? Like, if we put Emrakul in the graveyard, it just goes away. But the problem is drawing it does not do anything for us. Oh, God, this is so bad. This is no good. I'm cringing so hard right now. can't believe we did that we we're supposed to get shallow grave and then put the emerald in the in the graveyard with the entomb so okay we're we're back we, we got it we're still good i think six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, we go to one. Oh no, actually we block, we block Grave Titan. All right, we're good. Whew. Wait, they didn't block Putrid Imp? I totally forgot, wow, they could have just blocked Putrid Imp, that's hilarious. See, people just think it has flying naturally because it's literally a flying imp. So what are we Snapcastering? We're Snapcastering Vampiric Tutor to go get like through the breach, I think. Oh, a crude copter with it. Okay, good. I'm sorry. I'm like, there's a lot going on in this game, and I have to, like, we're trying to keep track of all of it while still keeping up with the chat. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. God, the deck with just natural main deck. Main deck scavenging is. Thank goodness. All right, let's get Vampiric Tutor, I guess. Yeah, Entomb doesn't do anything. We should have actually done a response. I was going to wait till the end of the turn, but they can try to eat it. If they try to eat it, we can do it. But then, like, they still have another green, so it's kind of like a... Yeah, I'm really bad at playing decks like this. For obvious reasons. There's just a lot going on. Hopefully next game will go a lot smoother. Yep, got a block here. Actually, they can't respond to this, can they? Because once it's cast, it's cast. Yeah, alright. I don't know what I was thinking there. That's totally wrong. See, even that I got wrong. I was like, oh no, what are we going to do about that? Oh. All right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Laturd. That's that's actually very good. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Okay, so what are we going to put on top? We have to work with what we have here. So we have a Blightsteel Colossus in hand. 
We could also get a mirror battle. No, we can't. We actually get Snapcaster back, which is pretty bad. I think we just have to get through the breach here, right? It doesn't it doesn't kill them though? It's a problem. Metamorph. Does Metamorph keep us alive? We have we have a lot of blockers. We take another point. This is actually surprisingly difficult. We could just get recall. It's like the best three cards we could hit. Because Blightsteel doesn't deal also combat damage, right? It only deals infect, right? Like they don't take 11 damage and 11 infect, right? It's only just one. All right, guys. You guys are saying draw three, so we're just going to draw three. We're going to go to three as well, so. Choose target player. I'll choose myself. Emrakul through the breach. Oh, my God. We're halfway there. Jeez. Oh. Oh, we're so close. 11 Infect is lethal, but they have blockers. So. <laughs> like, all they have to do is block this with one dude, and then they survive. I mean, even if it was Inkwell Leviathan, three, four, five, that actually might have done it. If we got Inkwell Leviathan, we might actually have been able to win, but we don't have a way to put it into play. Maybe they don't block. I'm just gonna go pester might tap your guys down. I mean it's definitely possible that they just don't block or they think they lose. Dang it. So close. They're like, you know what? This is fine. We tried. I got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Okay. So. I think we, I mean, like, we obviously misplayed there. To the surprise of no one. Living Death actually seems like it could be good. We just dump a bunch of dudes into our trash can and then make them deal with it. Imagine if I hadn't misclicked. We would have literally won on the spot. Um, that is what would have happened. I don't think we actually care about Warm Power Stone. I could see bringing in Fatal Push. What do we take out for it, though? I agree with the, the Blightsteel comment. I think it's kind of a trap. Yeah, we'll just bring in Fatal Push. All right, let's try it again. 
Guys, what are the odds of us hitting like a million lands? Blue into land island. Oh god, look at this hand. We got Ancestral Emrakul and through the breach. We're halfway there. I'll actually keep that. It kills probably most of their creatures. Should have brought a Massacre Army. You are correct. That is correct. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot going on with this deck. I would like a red so we can start making guys with this, and then we can just kill anything. Yikes. Oh, man, we're doing it. Living that dream. Got that 1-1 one, one defender life. Yeah, there's a there's a thousand year storm on our sideboard, Baron. Wow, discarding the Grave Titan when we bring in Living End. That's just rude. Man. Why is magic so difficult? There's so much going on. This is a tough choice. They're going to be like, I'm going to get my... Like, it's the choices are actually pretty hard because we have a Duretti that can just literally destroy an artifact or a creature. I don't feel so good, Mr. Laporte. Yeah, that's, that's a solid Tony Stark meme. Wow, that's rude. I got a wall of blossoms? Aggressive. Choose target artifact card in a graveyard or artifact on the battlefield. Create three tokens that are copies of it. Is that a thing? Is that worth doing? How dare you take my thing? This might be looking for mana. Like, they might just need lands here. Oh. Well. 
Should I just kill this and get in for four again? I don't think so. This is our only fifth land, so if we draw something really good, I don't really want to lose it just to... Like, we could have destroyed the wall, played Mox Ruby, destroy the wall, but, like, if we draw something good, I'd, I'd rather just have a fifth mana source. Of course, if we don't, if we draw, like, another land, I'll easily sack this to... I also want to save the push for, like, a scavenging unit. If they don't do anything this turn, I'm definitely going to kill it at the end of the turn. Yeah, Fauna Shaman is infinitely worse than Survival of the Fittest, and it's still serviceable. Uh, this is my first match we've played, and Duretti seems fine. Being able to sacrifice any artifact and him making artifacts to kill any artifact or creature is very versatile. That's really strong. Alright. Search library for... You discarded Massacre Worm. could be bad if they have like if they have their own reanimate which they might with survival of fittest trigger mage okay well <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no thanks. All right. Here we go. Oh, we're so close. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I think we're still actually fine. They Massacre Worm. Do we just want to kill this Mox? Because our guys are going to die anyway. And it's also one less creature that we're going to take damage from. Oh yeah, there's definitely a real drawback on Fauna Shaman, but it's still very good. Alright, this time we are getting the Emrakul, just to be clear. We are searching for Emrakul. We are going to put it on top and then through the breach, Emrakul. Emrakul. Okay? Just make sure it's Emrakul. Okay. They got a Mox Emerald, so they got the double Mox Survival Recurring Nightmare deck. Seems like a good one. Seems like a solid strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Massacre Wormu. Got that we knew about. Sure. You did. Oh, you're not dead because you got Brain Maggot back. That's pretty good. Oh, you're getting Grave Titan back. Oh, man. You done messed up, A.A. Eh, Ron. You done messed up, A.A. Eh, Ron! Brain Maggot actually would have put a severe damper in our plan. No, it wouldn't have. We could actually go Mox Ruby, tap it for mana, sack it to kill the Brain Maggot, get that. Yeah, we would have been fine. Uh, All right. What did we say? Emrakul. Sweet Emrakul. 
Last Alaskan, I have no idea why you keep saying that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just ban you if you keep doing it, because it's not really it's just weird, man. It's just it's kinda weird. Go, da, da, da. It's not that weird. It is weird because it's like the only thing you're saying. Like you don't. So I'm almost like, are you a bot? I don't understand. I, d I don't like. It's just a weird thing to say. <laughs> it was from like three hours ago. It was a throwaway th comment in a in a mess in a donation, and it's the only thing I've seen you say, which is weird because I'm like, okay, are you just trolling? All right, so. I do like Massacre Room here. Living Death seems worse now that we know they have uh, they have their own things going on. Same thing with Exhum. I wish I had a way to deal with... Um... I don't know if this is going to be the CX that my job used to refer to custom show. Um, no, because someone... No, no, no. It was actually the attached... It was in a message that was attached to a donation. Uh, it was a donation from... John Freeman three hours ago, and the the, ta the it said CX in the chat. I don't know what that I st I don't know the whole thing is confusing. Anyway, whatever, guys, I'm not gonna ban you for it. Obviously, it just feels weird. Like puppeteer click actually seems nuts, right? My problem with Shriek Maw is that all their creatures are black. Mask Room, Grave Titan, they have their own Shriek Maw. Um, that's the only issue I have. <laughs> I'm very, I'm not very, I'm not super like, uh, I'm not super like uh, gung-ho on banning people. It's not really a thing I do. So my immediate assumption was there's a there's a user who's a subscriber named B F C X. And so it said CX in the chat and I was like, "Oh, is it B it must be BFCX cuz he's a subscriber." But I don't think that would I don't think that's what it means at all anymore. <laughs> I actually think it's I think it's taken on a completely new uh meaning for me and I have no idea what it is. Uh power stones in the sideboard because we took it out. 14 seconds. All right, I'm just going to submit like this. I don't care. I got to do it. It's got to be done. I'm going to keep this hand. And I'll keep you as well. Complimentary timeout? Sometimes I do. If you guys are really special, if you guys are really, oh, this is actually fine. I don't care if I take my already. BFCXD, that's what I, yeah, that's you or who I thought, was it, was it you or not? BFC, can you tell me if it was you or not? Because I don't even know. Was what me? Oh my god, we're done. This is, see the hell, this is confusing. I was here when the original CX in the chat donated. That was that not you though? That that donation wasn't you? I don't know, man. I'm just God, I'm so perturbed right now. Dear Lord. Mother of God. Let's see if they block. They're gonna block. They know. It was a freebie. Anyway, we're done. It was not me. Okay, we're done. Either way, John Freeman, when you donated is it John? Is that what it was? This is confusing, and I'm confused. 
John Freeman, thank you so much for the donation, even though you were not who I thought you were. And I don't understand the internet as well as I thought I did. This is all so confusing. This is also round one. God, this round's taking forever, dude. Okay. But okay. All right. I like it. We can get a blue red here, and then we're all set. And if they try to go some shenanigans, we do have puppeteer click waiting. Waiting. Just waiting. Silver Library is pretty strong, though. I'm not thrilled about it. I want to get a second blue, so if we draw Ancestral, we can go Snapcaster Ancestral. And we also want a second red for other things, and then that still gives us three black sources. Do you know Candace Wang? I don't think so. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, they're going to just hard cast an Emrakul, aren't they? I feel like their deck is a little more broken than ours. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's just fine. Super Fritz, have a good night, buddy. Candace Wang. <laughs> no, I still don't know her. I don't understand. Is Notion Thinkly? Yeah, of course. What? Biren. You should definitely know that, dude. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything here. Uh, Scrounger, huh? Well, that's... That's not something that props can fix. Yeah, mocks into Massacre would be utterly insane. They take eight and they almost die immediately. Well, that's no good. So any land is good here. Most of our spells are good here. Made the mistake of forcing Storm on our first cube. This cube seems to not get the Yogg will the deck needed now. It's Palancron Scarab. Yeah, it's like, that's what I don't like about Storm, is that they're, if you don't get enough Dirtle cards, you're just like, well. Crunch, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Four months in a row. Really appreciate it. Um, no big plans for Christmas. I don't make big plans for holidays like this. Most of my family lives here in Florida, and... Um, my immediate fam my my immediate family is not super large. Like it's literally just me and my mom and dad, and I have some cousins and aunts and uncles, but that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure we're just blocking here. If we draw something to discard, like if we draw like an animate dead, that's awkward, I guess. Or we can just take eight, go to seven. Yeah, I think that's actually fine.
the problem is it, it costs four mana beer and so like by the time you actually have it they've already done their things so they block here they take one two three i think i'm actually tempted to snap cast range because if we draw mask room oh they do have lumbering falls though to activate and block So then they go block here, or block block here probably, block here with they take one, two, three, four. Actually this no, this guy would not die. I guess we'd still survive. Yeah, we don't need Snapcast here. Land. Wow, that's a terrible draw. <laughs> okay. Alright. That. Uh the falls doesn't die to worm because they would activate it after the neg two, neg two. Like we're gonna play Massacre Room, then they're gonna activate Lumbering Falls after we play Massacre Room. They're never gonna let their they're never gonna be like in response to the Massacre Room trigger, activate my Lumbering Falls so it becomes a one one. Doesn't matter, we didn't hit the land anyway. And this is like the one game they don't have any creatures in their graveyard, which is really sad. Like we take four, go to three, but then that means attacking with all of these guys and this. You can't block, but there's also no point in attacking with you. What does discarding the click do? I'm not sure why we'd do that. Oh, this card then click. Yeah, no, click does not target your graveyard. It's only the opponent's graveyard. We can probably get rid of Snapcast and Rage pretty easily, but I mean, like the good thing about the good thing about Smuggler's Copter, and and I don't know if it's actually should have been correct, is that you draw first, then you discard like traditional looting. But considering it's an artifact and every color can use it, I'm wondering if you should have just made it discard first, and then draw, so that you don't get the extra information oh boy oh yeah this is gonna be an alpha <laughs> sure crew with scrounger because you can't block hmm Yeah, this is still probably fine. Oh, snappy boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If they like, if they want to like. This is still lethal. Wow, and we win the match because we can swing with the copter and they go to three. Oh my god. Whew. That is not the way I saw that match playing out for sure. I'm going to take out the Blightsteel. Uh, actually, Blightsteel is probably good in certain matchups. Was not great in that matchup. Wow. Holy Jesus. Well, jeez.
It's almost as good as winning by decking your opponent with explosion. Yeah, it's a little too soon, but I appreciate, I appreciate the 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 thing. We're on the draw. I'll keep this hand. We have a turn one play. We have a bunch of two drops. Uh, Copter can keep us in this game, and if we hit any reanimation spell, uh, we can cast that. Oh boy. Oh boy. So now we can. Actually, this guy can't be reanimated. What an idiot. What an absolute fat idiot. We can Smuggler's Copter him, though. Land. God, we're good at this game. We are very good at this game. Oh, Ancestral Recall in our hand. We can Through the Breach this guy. Maybe it's worth keeping for Through the Breach. I think it is too narrow. I think the only thing we're doing with this Through the Breach. I think that's 100% accurate. Wow, they sacrificed this guy and... Okay, well, I guess we're just attacking now. And this is why I was excited about the Smuggler's Compter, because now we can just discard this idiot, shuffle him back in. And if we draw any other idiot with Ancestral and a land, now we have Animate Dead. So it's all it's all coming up Millhouse here, guys. Like the kids, as the kids say. Might be the worst possible draw... Never didn't have it. Yep, that's about it. That's about how it goes. Let's actually discard this and... Well, we don't want to actually redraw it. So I'm actually going to Ancestral now. Okay. Through the Breach is a thing that we drew. More like drew, drew the Breach. Am I right? Oh, I didn't do the thing. I'm really bad at this game. Well, it's okay. We're just going to play Scrum Peeps Scrum Peeps anyway. Just never didn't have it. Five, six. They have six mana. This is where the Primeval Titan emerges. Is through the bridge good to apply? I can't tell if you're being I can't tell if you're being sarcastic right now. Also, we can if they if they play like Primeval Titan, we can go Duretti, kill it with Scrap Heap Scrounger. Oh boy. I don't think they're going to do that now, though. They have no mana to do that, so. We can also just kill their jar with Doretti, which is kind of cool. Oh, got him. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so now they have two cards in their hand. And uh, they have no way of drawing their seven. Wow, Doretti's OP. Push it to the limit. Do, 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 do. Oh, we can't animate dead this guy. We can animate dead this guy. Walking on the razor's edge. Don't be Avenger of Zendikar. Green Sun Zenith for six. Genesis Wave for four. Okay. I'm game. Vivian Reed and Worm Coil Engine. Wow, so you literally just whiffed and hit two lands. You did. Oh, how convenient.
I mean, we shit all over this guy. And then he still kills them. <laughs> all right. All right. Seems good. We shit all over Blightsteel Colossus, and then he still kills the opponent. Seems good. It's the world I want to live in, guys. I make dance. You make traffic and commuting fun. Thanks for the content and happy holidays. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I actually didn't see that. Thank you. Um, again, you're playing a green deck. I want to bring Massacre Worm in because, come on, let's be real. That's a dude you want. Fatal Push, probably good. Oh, God. They played like Sword, of, Sword is bad. Uh, memory Jar, probably bad. I don't actually like Warm Power Stone. Like, once we have three mana, we're probably already doing our broken things. We're not hard casting these guys with, like, Warm Power Stones. I think Power Stone out for Fatal Push. Or Puppeteer Click, actually. Yeah, I like Puppeteer Click. Push it to the limit. My problem with Thraston is that we just can't cast it. So we have to have a way to discard it, and we have another thing. A lot of things like Mirror Battlesphere, Inkwell Leviathan, we can get it back with Duretti or Goblin Welder, stuff like that. So Also, we have a lot of ways to block um, whatever they equip the sword to. Pro Green and Pro Blue doesn't really shut us down. And Duretti makes defenders, so... Um, yeah, we can do it. Future Imp into discard to Shallow Grave. If we just top deck Emrakul, we just win on turn two, right? Oh my god, Last Alaskan, why are you like this? You literally said other things. Why are you, why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Oh, that's even better. I was born this way. Okay. Well, that is... I Well, I, I apologize then. I didn't mean to make fun of a hereditary... Wow, double, double survival decks? Emrakul. Mox rubles. Murbles, if you will. How much do we deal with this? Eight? And then it gets exiled, right? I guess we just play Scrap Heap Scrounger here. Oh, it deals 12. Yeah, that's a lot more. I always forget about that plus. Yeah, it deals 8 and then 4, so they would have been to... Not a lot. Yeah, that actually might have been the play. I guess we could still do it this turn. Um, and we can also snap back Shallow Grave at some point, which is super sweet. All right. This is good. <laughs> Raffles.
one, two, three, four. I feel like you actually have to block here, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, you go to three. Wow. A bold strategy, Cotton. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> CX in the chat. John Freeman, thanks again, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't know what's going on. Jesus. Oh my God. All right, so you're adding six. Worm coil? Worm coil's good. Yep, worm coil's good. Worm coil plays. <laughs> Hero's downfall wins the game. All right. Well, on to round three, I guess. Thank you. Red Jar, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And we won the match. I'll sub for Pikachu. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. All right. So what were we taking out? We were taking out something, right? Blightsteel. Yeah, I'll take out Blightsteel and Masquerum. It's just better. Maybe. If they don't have creatures, though, my biggest problem is that the only way to get this into play is through the Breach, right? Thank you. It's all for you, buddy. Red Jar, appreciate it. Stupid Jawa, 39 months in a row. Three and, like, almost a half years, buddy. Three and a quarter years. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. All right, we're almost there. Whatever. Masquerum is also castable. Josh, that's exactly... You can also just cast it. Yeah, that's true. That is definitely a... A selling point. Ugh. Is this going to be another 3-0? This deck is sweet. Apparently, Battle Sphere... If we just played the Battle Sphere turn earlier, I think we would have actually been way, way ahead. Even further ahead than we... than we were. Came for Pikachu, stayed for Pepper Talk. Those are the... Those are two of the defining features of this stream, so... I support that. If you stifle the enter the graveyard trigger for Blightsteel, would it still... Oh, it's not a trigger, though. It's a replacement effect. So they are different things. Um, This hand seems great. We can crew copter, and we have all of our colors. We can get either a black or a volcanic with this. Yeah, we're keeping this for sure. Mike is just invisible right now. I didn't like to. I don't want to say anything, but that is true. Oh, the volcanic island we were looking for. I guess now we're getting a second black. Push it to the limit. Walking on the razor's edge. Doing those things and never has you gonna push it. Why do I have push it to the limit song, man? That's just rude. That ain't even mature. You're basically a child. I guess we won't block here. That commercial's in a song in Holland, or that song is in a commercial in Holland, that's actually pretty hilarious. Mike B traveled back in time and stopped his parents from getting together. Now he's invisible. Uh, 
Um, now we have a discard outlet. We can discard Grave Titan and then play a Metamorph to copy it. Um... I mean, if we draw a thing, let's we'll play this. Play Imp. We should have played Bloodstain Mire. Because now it leaves us without a way to, uh, like, if we draw like a, an entomb or a you know a thing, a black spell. Um, I kind of like Metamorph because next time we can play Power Stone and sack it to get Metamorph back. Or we can discard. Actually, let's discard the Metamorph because we can keep this up and then sack this. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, not terrible. Push it to the limit, do, do, providing all the internets. What does getting Metamorph back do? If they play something like this, we can sack Skullogus Copter, get Metamorph back, copy Soul Ring, and then we can play a Grave Titan literally next turn. That is what Metamorph does. Uh, take three. No, we can't do it next turn. Dang it, we're one turn off. Oh, Mirror Crusader. Is that a guy we want to copy? Yeah, we'd be one man off. Um, Unless, of course, we draw a Mox. I think we're still good like this. Triggered. Let's thin the deck. We're just going to get a swamp here. Because that's what we want. Ancestral ourselves. Fish lamp. Oh, boys. Um. Okay. Well. Crew with this guy. Wow, that's good. We could also get like an animate dead out of the graveyard. This is actually pretty insane. Hold on. Let's see if we can draw animate dead. Duretti. Still good. Still good. Discard you. Oh, Duretti's actually insane with, with Goblin Welder. Choose. Target artifact player controls and an artifact. Yeah, we're going to choose you. Choose you. We can also reanimate the the metamorph now, and uh, get another battle sphere. We paid four. We go to nine. Uh, I don't know if I'm in love with that idea, but it's definitely an option. I think we're good like this for now. Next turn we can weld her back, sack a mirror token, get a metamorph, get battle sphere. Yeah, this deck has a lot of things to do, which is why it's been so difficult, because you have, like, multiple things, and, like, the sequencing is really important. You have, like, multiple combos. You're like, do I play this for my hand? Does it go to the graveyard? Do I reanimate it? Do I get it back with Welder? Does it have to be in their graveyard? I don't know what's going on. Oh. I mean, I don't think we have to worry about... Yep, that is actually fine, because we have numerous non-black, non-green dudes. Uh, block. Actually, do we just block with this guy? Yeah, we're just blocking with this guy. Nah, I don't know what to do. I think that's fine. I want this guy in the graveyard, right? So, whatever. 
Like, the four damage is nice, but that's not going to kill them next turn. So we might as well just develop our board here while we're ahead. I see. Well... And do we discard to give flying? Probably. We're not going to be casting Grave Titan anytime soon. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about Massacre Room here. Let's get that sword off the board. Swords off the boards. All right, I feel like we're way ahead right now. You want some groceries? I could send you some nice lettuce. Um, you know, it's weird. I think I'm actually good on lettuce, but I do appreciate the offer. Let's begin the sideboarding process. Nighthawk could be good. It's a black creature, though, and the two creatures we saw it was not good against. Disenchant could be good, but it's a white card. Actually, Shriekmaw is probably great here. Masqueron probably just as amazing. Again, like, you saw the Worn Power Stone. Like, I just don't care about Worn Power Stone. Like, I never want to cast it on five. Fatal Push, like, again, it doesn't kill Mirror and Crusader or a Danto Vanguard. I'm sure they have some things that it kills, but ideally... We'll be crushing long before then. Let's keep. Let's get a blue, a blue, a volcan, a Valky. There is some three O hype. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord, he coming. Well, we have at least one turn. Entomb would be great next turn. I would be a big fan of that. See, again, this is a decision. This is a decision tree we had on turn one where we can play Mana Confluence because it lets us play Welder and Reanimate. So if we do draw an Entomb, we can go turn two, Swamp, Entomb, Reanimate. Whereas the line we took with Volcanic Island does not allow us to do that. So... Uh, gets a little bit tricky there. Thalia also does not allow us to do that. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to vomit all over. Like, they're just going to equip Thalia, and it's going to be pretty hard to win after that. Especially because this is a turn four play, and we don't even have four mana at this point. Yikes. Um, I'm pretty sure we can go to the next game here. This does not feel like a winnable game. Yeah. Okay. Well then, Fatal Push now you're coming in for sure. But again, like I think Shriek Maw is also a good option for that. Um, we can probably take out Hero's Downfall. Eh, maybe not. Shallow Grave. I think our deck is good. I mean, obviously it's good. Yeah, I'll just submit like this. We can we can take the hit on 16 mana sources and. 41 cards. Our, well, like, we're only, our, like, our top of our curve, this is a two drop. Top of our curve is basically five. Ah, this hand is really okay. Any blue source is great. Any animate spell is great. So, uh, there's a lot of things we can draw for this hand. We also have a bunch of colors. Well, a bunch of, we have black and, and red. So, I mean, we can just lead with mountains until we no longer have any in case they want to strip mine things I don't want to entomb yet because we don't know what we're getting if we get like a vampiric tutor we might just entomb 
Oh my god. They have Sol Ring, Mox Pearl, Jitte every game. Except for the first game, which we won. Actually, this is great because we have Mox Ruby, so... Yeah, we can entomb something, get it back next turn. All right, we're doing it. We're living the dream. You got it. I mean, Battle Ball is probably the only option that we have, to be quite honest, as far as, like, back-breaking creatures. Inkwell Leviathan also seems very good. Yeah, Battle Sphere is where you want to be, though. I don't think you can kill this welder. Not for zero. Oh, they said no. All right, well. Yes. Blue source so I can Ancestral the breach oh man well we have nothing else to cast so I guess we're just gonna sack you to get you we did it at instant speed I don't know what they have I don't know if containment priest is in the cube or they're like no no Wrath of God? They get Wrath of God here. Chandra? That actually seems very reasonable. They're going to add two equipped Jitte. We're going to block. Um, yeah, that's fine. Steal to player or planeswalker? Player or planeswalker. It's it deals X damage to the player or planeswalker. It's attacking. Okay. So I have to attack Chandra. Shandy. Oh, that's actually very good. I feel way ahead right now. Uh, your face, Chandra. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, this is really good. All right, you are dead on board. Wow, this is unreal. I did not expect this to go this way. Mirror Battlesphere is a hell of a card. The Abyss plus four damage. You have to block my 8-7, and you'll take four doing it. Blue source. Blue source. Blue source. Blue source. Path to Exile. Well, we get a blue source. No, we don't. No blue source. Vapor Snag, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. We're definitely getting rid of your mocks. Like, you didn't have a thing to play last turn for four, so we're going to get rid of it. And uh, we still have two turn clocks, so. Also, we have enough mana for anything that we draw with through the breach, which is nice. And hero, yeah, chicken, sure. It's actually pretty good. Does giving this haste win the game? No, because they block. We threw the breach this. We can attack with this and these t three because we're going to sack. They would just go to one. Um, I don't really want to put, I don't wanna really want to sacrifice a mirror just for the rekindling Phoenix. They're way too high on life. Instead, we're going to sack this. I do not want you to have Jitte on board. Man, Duretti is fantastic. 
and we'll make Thopters. Thopters are better than Mirrors at this point, just because they fly and they can block the Rekindling Phoenix, saving our Duretti. I don't really feel like you're in a position to attack, but I don't know what you have in hand. You have two cards. Hmm. One card. Emrakul. Liliana. Yeah, let's do that. Then they have to block. That's probably going to do it. I sub for cube and MTGO is better than MTA. I mean, I just feel like this is more pure magic. The other one is more entertaining. Like, hey, there's flashy things. There's sound effects. There's all these things going on. We're, we're going we're gonna to end up winning with an Ancestral Recall and a Through the Breach in our hand. That's pretty cool. Good games. Sweet. I like it. Oh, and we got it. Wow, 3-0. Uh, we were also gonna. We were actually just gonna let it die, and then all of our guys survive. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. You can also check out meandies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get fifteen percent off along with free shipping and free returns. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. Um, it's a great deal. Uh, they have great products: super soft micromodal underwear, lounge pants, socks, tees, etc. And uh, it helps me out. You guys get something cool. You get a discount. Sweet. Um, also, de definitely check out AaronKaneCustomBoxes.com. The link is in the description below as well. If you use promo code Frank, you'll get 10% off. His work is exceptional. Um, he uses like 40 different types of wood. Uh, he makes everything from scratch, and uh, the craftsmanship is insane. So if you guys are looking for a really nice deck box or a box for your cube or a box for your commander deck, definitely check him out. His stuff is fantastic. And... Uh, you get 10% off with promo code Frank. So be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. I really appreciate the support.